Good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. So it is April 6th and unfortunately I'm not filming plow day today because unfortunately it has rained for the last week straight. Uh, yesterday and today, which is Saturday, um, were the only days that we had any sun at all. Uh, from thereafter, it was just rain and mist and snow and just terrible weather conditions. So I had to pull the plug on our April 6th rain date for plow day. And I really wish I didn't have to do that. I was really looking forward to plow day. So anyways, another opportunity came about this week. Uh, my buddy Mort called me and said that the machine that I've been waiting on that he owns and I am purchasing from him is now available because he is done with his projects. So if you followed my videos, you will know that I've been waiting on this particular machine for or about oh, four years, uh, close to my beginning of my YouTube career. We've been talking about it since. Um, this machine's going to make a lot of things happen uh, as far as like running the trommel, uh, running my uh, gravel operation, and uh, helping with the site work of my, uh, of well, Madison I's new place. So uh, we're gonna get the Blue Kenworth running and uh, we're gonna go pick it up. So uh, I'm gonna get that started, let it warm up. I'm gonna call Mort and see how his morning's going. And if uh, we can head over, we're gonna head over and we're gonna grab it. Um, got some cool things from Iowa. I got this little barge wagon here that my buddy Brian brought back for me. He uh, bought a farm out there that had some equipment on it. And uh, that wagon was on it, which that's a John Deere running gear and it's a, uh, not sure what brand the top is. I need to do a little research on it, but it's a really cool wagon. I'm gonna use that to pick your corn into. And I also got a John Deere silage chopper from the two cylinder era. So that'll go behind either dad's 720 or my 620 and we'll we'll uh, chop a little silage for the cows. So uh, let's get started this morning and uh, guess in the comments what we're going to get. So let's let's have some fun with this. So. See, see if you can uh, figure it out, and uh, you'll see when we get there. So, got to get this truck running and thawed off, and it is a little cold this morning. So, let's see what we can do today. All right, here's what we came to get. I'm super excited about this. I can't wait to get it home. Check it out. Track frame John Deere 690B of my own. So, if you remember, all oh, last fall we brought home one for Zach, and uh, that is the narrow track frame version. So, we had to stack up a bunch of blocks of wood and stuff to get it up on the trailer since we have the raised beam deck on our low boy. Well, this one should load a little bit easier because it's got the white track frame. Yep, there she is. I'm excited. Got my own 690B. Let's get it loaded up, get it home, and we'll talk about some other things about it. So if you're wondering how well the trailer's working since we fixed it, it's working fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Works better than it ever did before, I think. Well, let's get it started and get it on the trailer. Typical John Deere 404 diesel engine start. All right, let's get it loaded up.
Well, we got her home, so uh, let's get her off the trailer. Here's my official oldest excavator, and here's my official newest excavator. Will the 220 ever make it to live as long as an old 690B? I don't know. I don't know if we'll ever find out. It'll probably be gone way before he gets to be this age with us. 
But here it is, do a quick walk around of it. I do have a tooth bucket for it. Actually, Mort sent that home with me quite a while ago. So it is sitting over there. It's just a just a 36 inch tooth bucket. It is an original John Deere bucket. Um, I do have all the windows to put back in for a windshield. Uh, I gotta get new glass put in them. There's some uh, pieces of glass that need to be replaced in the cab. The cab door, side window, and then the roof, which uh, a lot of this is common on these older excavators. You find them with cracked glass. That's no big deal. It's just uh, easy to get a hold of it. Just go to the glass shop here in, here in Knox and uh, I'll be able to get them replaced. So just a 404 John Deere diesel engine. Same engine that is found in the John Deere 4430. So there's me a donor engine if I ever need one for my 690. Yeah, dad would uh, dad would throw a fit if we cannibalized his 4430 to get a replacement engine for the 690. Nice, straight old machine. I cannot wait to get this over to the gravel pit and start running it with the trommel, dig me a basement, make me a building pad for my new shop with it. It's gonna be uh, pretty cool to make videos with this machine. Uh, for those of you who don't know, those of you that are new to the channel, I started out in a John Deere 690B. Uh, this is what I learned in. This is what my dad taught me in. Uh, I spent a lot of hours right behind the seat, standing behind dad back there, looking over his shoulder, learning how to clean ditch, do demolition work, bust up concrete, things like that. So there's an extreme sentimental value to me with a John Deere 690. This is not the exact same one that I ran, but I do know where that exact one is, and I might eventually try to get my hands on it. So for the, those of you who have been following the channel, you know that uh, this fall we brought one home for Zach. Well, he wants to hang on to that one until he digs his pond. And, well, I'm going to help him with it, of course, digging his pond and things like that. But uh, once we get his pond project done, he said I can also still purchase that one if I want it. So it'd be kind of cool to have two variations of a 690B. I'd have one with the narrow undercarriage, one with the wide undercarriage. Now all I gotta do is talk my buddy Michael out of his 690B that's pilot controls, and I'd have all three variations of them. So they made uh, pilot controlled ones the last two years of production. I believe the last two years was 82 and 83. Now correct me if I'm wrong, for those of you that know, uh, I think it was 82 and 83 were the last years of these, and they had pilot controls. Um, something interesting on this one compared to Zach's is I believe this one is a hair older than Zach's because it has a yellow cab inside, and Zach's is all black inside, and it's all original. And Zach's has the plastic council around the bottom of here and this is why you're about out to here and he's also got the environmental package in the back of the cab which uh the environmentals package is well that's what they call it on the comm mines but um uh, that's your ac and your heat all combined in one box um his doesn't have factory ac it's got the punch outs where the knobs would go but they're not in there. Uh, it was just a factory heat machine. So uh, kind of interesting, the different variations in cabs. And his seat is not a vinyl seat. It's more of the Soundguard cab tractor seats like you'd find in a uh, late model 4430 and in the 40 series that are the cloth, not the, uh, not the old school uh, wrap around armrest seats like you'd see on the 20 series like they put in the early 4430s. So uh, definitely a different seat. It is original, but uh, it's different than Zach's. So quite a few different things as I look around. But uh, anyways, I'm going to uh, go get the 200 and the brush mower and get them home. 
I'd like to thank Mort for uh, making my dream come true here. I'm uh, pretty excited about that. And now I did tell Madison that once I had a 690B in my possession that we could get married. So I guess I'm going to get married. So anyways, <laughs> oh, that's funny. So anyway, well, I was going to marry her before that. I was just, that's always been the joke between her and I anyways. So uh, anyways, thank you for watching. Greatly appreciate it. See you all next one. I'm going to get this up to the shop. I'm going to grease it up.